Recently, a suspected mid-air collision between a drone and a helicopter inside Class C airspace exposed some outdated but widely held operating assumptions by low-flying air crews. This collision occurred at 150 feet above ground level off airport, approximately four nautical miles northeast of the tower in daylight with clear skies. Thankfully, there were no injuries, but the helicopter did sustain some damage. I'm Scott Newsom, and we'll discuss this and best practices on this episode of the FAA's Rotorcraft Collective. Helicopter crews know that in controlled airspace, air traffic controllers provide separation services between traditional aircraft, but are often surprised to learn that the controller does not provide separation services between drones and other aircraft. More than one drone can legally be in controlled airspace at the same time. While drones are required to yield right of way to traditional aircraft, investigations of collisions or near misses have usually found that the drone pilot was not watching the airspace or overestimated their ability to see and avoid a low flying aircraft. Helicopter pilots need to know that drones can legally operate inside controlled airspace at altitudes up to 400 feet above the ground or even as high as 400 feet above the top of a structure, such as a tower or building, day or night. Controllers may be unaware of the drone's presence in their airspace. If they are aware, they most likely can't see the drone due to its small size. Before flying in controlled airspace, drone operators obtain airspace authorization via an automated program called the Low Altitude Authorization and Notification Capability, or LANCE. To learn more about LANCE, look for the link in the video description. For your safety, assume drones are everywhere, even inside the surface area of controlled airspace. To minimize injuries and damage to you and your aircraft, wear eye protection and remain well above 400 feet above ground level or any structures along your flight route as long as possible when operating at a low altitude. For the FAA safety team and the U.S. helicopter safety team, I'm Scott Newsom. Be safe. Be vigilant.